Okay. So we are told that ethanol reacts with O2 gas to give water and acetic acid. Uh, and we are asked to determine how many moles of acetic acid will be produced when we have 0 0.090 moles of O2. So how do we figure this out? Well, we need to figure out what the ratio of O2 to acetic acid is. And what that's basically saying is that we need to figure out what the stoichiometric coefficients are in front of oxygen and acetic acid after balancing the reaction. Uh, because then, let's say we get X some number and uh, for oxygen and Y some number for acetic acid, then we could say, you know, uh, we would simply multiply Y over X and that would give us our answer, right? Because this would be moles of oxygen and this would be moles of acetic acid, moles of O2 would cancel and we'd get some answer. Okay, that's really what balancing reactions is all about. It's finding about finding out about the ratios between the various components in your reaction. So balancing, that's what we're doing. Well, I think it would help to rewrite these uh, reactions uh, in condensed molecular formulas, right? So I'm actually gonna say C2H6O plus O2 goes to, we'll still say H2O plus, and then this will be C2H4O2, right? It's just a little easier to see. Um, yeah, it's just a little easier to see for me, uh, count things up. So let's start by balancing our carbon. Uh, let's just assume that we have one mole of ethanol. If we have one mole of ethanol, uh, what do we need to do on the right hand side to balance our carbon? Well, we would need one mole of acetic acid, right? Because there's two carbons here, two carbons here. So a one to one ratio would be good. Okay, uh, let's balance our hydrogens. Okay, if we have uh, six hydrogens over here, and so far we have four hydrogens over here, well, we're gonna need one water so far to bring that up to six hydrogens on the right. Okay, now hydrogens are balanced. Right? We have two carbons on the left, two carbons on the right, six hydrogens on the left, six hydrogens on the right. Now let's do oxygen. Okay, we've got one oxygen here. Uh, let's just, actually, let's, let's start on the right this time because uh, we figured out we have coefficients for everything over here and we don't have a coefficient here. So we're basically trying to figure out how much O2 we need. Okay, what do we got over here? We got two oxygens here, one here, so that's a total of three. And what do we got on the left? Well, we got one here. If we put a one for O2, that'll bring our total to three. Okay, so it looks like the ratio between everything is one to one. That is one mole of O2 per every one mole of acetic acid. So then the question is asked if we have 0 0.090 mole oxygen, that is O2, right? Well, how many moles of acetic acid do we get? Well, we know that it's one mole O2, right, from here. Color code this. So one mole O2 for every one mole acetic acid. So our answer, moles O2 cancel, and we get 0 0.090 mole acetic acid.